What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Horizon Forbidden West. Well, last time we just unlocked the merchants over here. Just so you know, I pretty much bought everything. Um, yeah, I bought all the old outfits that were available. Not that I needed to necessarily, but hey, why not? Um, in the end, I want to have everything anyway. I know myself. Um, and they were cheap, like only 80 shards, I believe. Even though I could use some shards now, because I can't upgrade every weapon. I finally got the sharp shot bar. Well, um, I upgraded this to max, because this used to be one of the my main weapons. Obviously, the penetration is the hardest. And it has 75. I believe it's called penetration or impact. Nah, impact, I think. Either way, yeah, it's one of the most potent weapons you can have. I got the warrior bow as well for close range. Fire, especially, this was necessary so we can start burning them up. I upgraded the shock troops caster a bit. The frost was already, I think. And the hunter bow I left. Oh, yeah. And I don't remember if it was the same in the first game, but af um, after you've upgraded the weapon to level 3, the um, decoy gets unlocked and then you can put some coils in. I just don't have any comparable ones for, for the sharp shot right now. But like I said, I needed the sharp shot to build one of the first I upgraded. So let's go and talk to the bodies, bodies, whatever it's called. Oh. The way of Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not errant vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when said. I cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay. Banged up, but breathing. And waiting up ahead for you. But, but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Lightbodies. Like Aloy said, Captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. Well, now that that's done, the embassy can finally get underway. If I can get through it, I'll be able to track down Cylons. Hades. <sighs> Maybe even a Gaia backup. Guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Or poke around the Daunt some more first. And maybe take Petra up on that drink. Let's check it out. This is Baron Knight. This is the Embassy where to override the Charger. Why in the hell? There's Narrows. I want to see something. Oh, to cover ground faster. Okay, I was. Why in the hell do I have to override one? For the um, builds a vela faster. What is this? This is a nice one, but I'm going to wait or hold off on that one. Yeah, I definitely need this, so I can put my threads. Crafting faster, not necessarily now. Okay. 
I really don't know whether I'm going to choose this one. Fuck it. Well, this is a bit unfortunate. Because, like I said, I initially wanted to do some side quests later. But, no, it's okay. Let's keep it like this. Let's continue the main quest and then side quests, like I said, probably on a stream or something. But okay, they get actually marked on the on the map. I wasn't sure if the, if I can see those side quests always on the map, or if I have to go directly to them. Faster if I find a charger to override. I can override one of these chargers. Yes, yes. I have to yes. go on quiet so I don't spook the herd. If you look away, I'm going to go down. Increases elemental build up. Yeah, where's this? I don't know how many I can equip of this, but let's go for this to find out if we can equip multiple valors. Yeah, man, he's dead. Come on. This one is dead. Come on and check him out. I can get data to override machines from cauldrons. Just need to find one. Yeah, man. You coming or what? No, nah, man. He got stuck probably, it looks like. Just 
come on. Nope. I hate it in games, man. When they can, they can drink a potion even though you're fully healed, man. Come over here. I don't want to spook the other ones. Unbelievable. Are they all gone already? Yeah, fuck me. They got scared and ran away. Square and circle BS. I really don't know when I will get used to it, man. Do you sometimes feel that they choose a different button just for the sake of choosing a different button? Uh, no, no, no. We do not do circle, crouch, and roll all together like it. It's in any other game. No, no, no. We have to do square crouch. You want to drop off a ledge, you press square, not circle. Nope. Oh, this was close. Nice. Um. Could you please tell me? Oh, okay. With X. By pressing X. Let me just quick save. What? Yeah. To ignite this one. Now. X by dismount. Hold and release to dismount. Okay, he also does melee. Where am I actually over here? Just a quarry, okay. The other chargers. They were just chargers, I couldn't care less about them. charge here. First, I could resupply at my stash. Might be worth taking a look around, too. Q 
Keep this for a cook. Still out there. There's Erend. That looks like he's had a few. Broken ribs will do that to you. And that's what he had a few. We need to talk to it. She's pissed. Uh oh. You taking the edge off? Huh. I mean, I'd ask you to join, but who'd be left to save the world, right? <clears throat> All right, now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So, uh, whatever you need, ask away. Uh oh, how, is you? how have things been since I... your silent departure? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Helped Avad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury Ursa in the clay. But when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Wadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. <laughs> blindsided. Wasn't your fault. A couple more of these, maybe I'll believe you. I was um wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, just seen the crowd that showed up to pay their respects. Half of them owed her a favor, and the other half, the other half owed her their lives. In the end, everybody drank. That's the rowdiest funeral since, uh, well, since ever. <laughs> Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight. Damn straight. She would have put them all under the table. What do you know about the embassy? I know, not much. Only that Avad really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these tonight. But from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of the talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things may get ugly real fast. I'll keep that in mind. I hope it does get ugly very fast. What do you know about this place? Well, nothing good. It's where the Karja dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. Lucky ones. Became slave labor. The rest were hauled off to the sun ring and meridian. Your sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the Karja out of the west. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Osram to rebuild it. And no matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be stained in blood. I am. Um... I better get going. Oh, yeah, don't let me stop you. Just, are you, are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm saving the world. That's, that sounds like a lot for just one. Errand. Yeah, all right. Can't blame me for trying. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is if you ever do need me, I know where to find you. Hopefully, sober next time. Yeah, don't count on it. <laughs> I was going to say it. Be careful out there, Aloy. This is this, 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 this. Yeah, let's keep going. Lighten up, Pai. You've got a thick wall of stone between you and the Tanakh out there. Yes, sir. Why the law? Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. <laughs> but the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh marshals have yet to sound their horn. All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. 
Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakhthum left. So what happens at these embassies, exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanakh return personal effects taken from Karja soldiers <laughs> that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh are handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. You said something about Tanakh's marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Baib over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> you said something about Tanakh's marshals. Who are they? They're the tribes of Lee. They arrived. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. And by Baib came back drunk. It was. <laughs> Where is this Commander Nozar then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, and we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and change scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Alvin was thrilled. Stand aside, soldier. Yeah. Sir? There's the commander. Better brace yourself. And good luck. Agreed. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> I swear I love that she doesn't let herself get pushed around but her attitude has gotten so much worse or at least it's worse than I remember it man. I, I don't mind. Like this is just over the top for me like seriously. Oh. Unless she knows, knows those pe people except one day she didn't know that in case she knows them in any capacity and I don't remember. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. We appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Nora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian. File a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Really? This is where you go. Really? You chose to go this route, Gorilla. 
Really? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Good. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. Someone approaching! On a machine! Haha. Oh. Ha. <laughs> I expected this to happen. I understand she has a lot on her mind and a lot has happened and all of that shit, but still, there's never a reason to, if you are feeling whatever reason, whatever way you feel, if you're angry and it has nothing to do with the other person, then don't talk to that person as if it's that person's fault. Keep it to yourself or argue with the person that's responsible for your issues man but don't be a bitch to a bitch or an asshole depending on what gender um to everyone just because you feel you're entitled to man i don't care what gender you are man at least have a li little bit of decency man some manners fuck me man Open the gates, please. Do They're not, not going to open. Through that gate. That is a direct order. Sorry. Perfect. Can't do it. Ha 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 ha. You deserve that, Aloy. You deserve that. <laughs> I'm asking nicely. <laughs> hey, Bar. Hi, Aaron. Uh... What's happening? Hey, you know, the usual, Aloy wants something, people Open try to stand in her way. It's not gonna work. Oh, that's it! Arrest her! I'd like to see you try! Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey! Nose off! You stupid bastard! You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? <laughs> True, boys. <laughs> Seven the world. <laughs> you got something back in Meridian? Look, Varl. It doesn't matter. I made it just in time. I always liked Varl, even in the first time. In the first one. So this tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna... Barge in? Just no more politics. No more delays. Oh well. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I do. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully I'm not completely locked out of those fucking side quests, yeah. man. Oh mother. What's up YouTube? It's Astronomous. Just letting you know that I had to cut up this episode once again. It took way too long got lost in the gameplay and the story I'm enjoying it a lot as you know there are still some issues I have with it but as of now nothing that game breaking or deal breaking for me yeah so we just got out of the city and yeah next episode you'll see what happened next I hope you enjoyed if you did stick around I will be bringing you more episodes very soon until then have a good one, guys.